Now there you are. Books everywhere, yes. <laughs> yeah, but I assure you, I know where everything is. Oh, but now this book. A small leather bound octavo shouldn't be down here. This is the Tractate Midoth from the library of Dr. Rant. Young Garrett passed it on to me. But I firmly believe it's a book to be stored away on the higher, more remote shelves. Sorry? You'd like to know more? If you're sure. I'm sorry to trouble you, Mr. Garrett. It's a request from Mr. John Eldred, an urgent request. Mm -hmm. He's one of the older library members, a demanding gentleman. Oh, I quite understand, Mr. Thompson. Do pass me the slip. Yeah. All right, the tractate Midoth with the commentary of Nachmanides, Amsterdam, 1699. Hmm. Seems an odd book to be urgent about. Let me check the catalogue. Section 2, class 17, volume 701. The book's positively buried in the stacks. Now, mind yourself while I slide these racks. Yes. Oh. Class 17. Hmm. All the spines have an identical label on them. <laughs> Nest of spiders. Yep. Two dozen works of Hebrew scholarship. All the bequest of one Dr. Rant. Dr. Rant? Now, that name stirs up a memory. Volume 701. Here we are. No. I could swear I saw it right there, but... What the trick of the light. It's not in its place. Strange. There's no exit card for it. Do you smell something? Have you found it? The tractate mid off. Mr. Eldred, you can't possibly come in here. These are the storage stacks of the library. Three stories of them. You could, you could lose your footing, anything. It's out of bounds. Have you found the book? The book is missing, Mr. Eldred. Missing? What sort of a library are you running? A, a passably efficient one, Mr. Eldred, though inevitably not perfect. I shall track down your book personally. Now, if you'd like to wait in the main reading room... Uh, I won't stay. I can't. I shall return tomorrow. I, I hope you can do better than you've done today. Yes. Tell me, has anyone else taken this volume out in the past? Uh, the catalogue will say. Um, no, not since it was shelved a year ago. Tomorrow, then. I, um, I hope I handled that satisfactorily. Most diplomatic, Mr. Garrett. The sooner we find this book, the better. We see very little of Mr. Eldred, and to be frank, I would prefer to keep it that way. <sighs> Garrett? Any luck with that book? Uh, no, it's a mystery. Ah. Wait, I've remembered about Dr. Rand. Mm -hmm. He was a clergyman, left the church under a cloud. But what stuck in my mind was, on his death, the manner of his interment. He left directions that he was to be placed, sitting at a table in his ordinary clothes, in a brick room that he had made underground in a field. <laughs> Imagine how grotesque. Of course, the locals say he's still seen striding around in his black cloak. <laughs> well, if you've finished your tea, I'll lend you a hand. Uh, right. Yes, sir. I shall look through the recently returned books. Very good. Uh, now, class 17. <laughs> Smell again. Vile. But here, surely, is the book. Mr. Thompson! Thompson? But, but, who are you? I didn't see you there. Sir? Sir? Sir, did you hear me? I'm afraid he's been taken ill, Mr. Eldred. It happened yesterday. He was looking for your book. I found him in the Class 17s, dead to the world. Oh. I do feel in some way the Class 17s responsible for his indisposition. Did he find the book? 
I have no idea, sir. Of course, the book can wait. But if you could furnish me with an address, I should like to make amends to Mr. Garrett. Oh, is that you, Mrs. Perkins? I wonder if I could put you to the trouble of stoking the fire. Mrs. Perkins? It's not Mrs. Perkins. Good heavens, I, I was dozing. Oh. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Please don't get up, Mr. Garrett. Oh. You look quite the invalid. What, what happened to you in the library? How do you know about the library? I'm Lucy Simpson. We haven't much time. I've been following Mr. Eldred. He's outside now in the courtyard below, working out his next move. He's a cold, calculating creature. Is that the door to your bedroom? Uh, Miss Simpson, I... I take it from your gentlemanly confusion that it is. Mr. Eldred is coming to the door. He's thinking... Yes, he's coming in. Mr. Garrett, I implore you, do not trust that man. Tell him nothing. Mr. Garrett, how are you, sir? You're bruised. You had an accident, and all on my behalf. I passed out and fell. A dizzy spell? Or did you see something? My memory wiped clean. One moment I was in the stacks, the next I was here. What a terrible thing. Do you remember anything at all? You were in the class 17s, I believe. Though I suppose those details would elude you. Oh, oh those details are the one thing I do remember. Remarkable. What? Even down to the shelf number? 701. I have a certain facility with... I no do wish you a speedy recovery, Mr. Gout. Oh. I, uh, I hope I handled that satisfactorily. You revealed the one piece of information that, above all, I didn't want you to reveal. Apart from that, you were splendid. Oh. Oh, Mr. Garrett, I suppose it's not your fault. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Is the library still open? Uh, until eight o'clock tonight. Tell me how to find the book. You're not a member. You can't just walk in. Oh, I have to have that book, Mr. Garrett. Well, I, c I could take you to it, I suppose. Now you're thinking. Get your coat. Oh. Look, if we go now, we might beat Mr. Eldred. <sighs> Miss Simpson, why must you have the tractate mid off? It's not the book, it's what's in it. What? I had a great uncle, Dr. Rout. He looked surprised, Mr. Garrett. He had a large estate and a niece, my mother. My mother is poor, for my father died young. His affairs are a bad way. A cabbie? Do you share your rooms, Mr. Garrett? No. Oh, then who is that in your window up there? Oh, no, perhaps I was mistaken. Come on. Dr. Rant was wealthy and could have made our lives easier, but he chose not to. He grew unwell and his thoughts fell to his will. There was only one other relative. John Eldred. Oh, well, yes. Oh. Uh, Cabby, take the side road here. Oh, Dr. Rant had no particular liking for John Eldred any more than he did for my mother or me. But... I'm a selfish person, Mr. Garrett, telling you all this. Dragged you away from your convalescence. Oh, you noticed that. But you look the better for it. Colour in your cheeks. Dr. Rant's pleasure was in other people's pain. So he told my mother. He knew he was going to shock her, and he did. Mary, he said, I've decided to leave everything to John. Can you go any faster? Then came Dr. Rant's true dark cunning. He had a second will made, this time entirely in our favour, cutting Eldred out. But that will, he hid. In the tractate, Midoth. It's taken John Eldred a year to track that book down, with me tracking him. Even after his death, Dr. Rant has us dancing to his tune. Look out, sir! Are you all right? A little winded. My elbow. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. It's quite all right. Quite all right. I think you can disentangle yourself from me now, oh. Mr. Garrett. Yeah, of course. I, I swear I saw a, a man walk right in front of this horse and cab. He, he had a black cloak and he was hurrying as though he was late for something. Yes. Where is he? We'll go in by the east entrance. It's quicker. Right. Now stop and listen. He's here. Follow me. He's found the 17s 
Ah, but does he know how the stacks move? There's a counterbalance, you see. But apparently he does. He's searching for the book. He's found it. I shall confront him. Don't wait. There's someone else here. Well, that's not possible. Where could he have come from? Oh, is he? In the shadows. That face. I've seen that face before, right here. The skin. Dry and, uh, and dusty. Oh, what's that colour in his eyes? Oh, oh. Cobwebs. They're oh. full of cobwebs. You! It's you! I knew it was you! Oh. That's oh. right! Coming out of his mouth! Spiders! You, you fainted. Oh. oh I, you seem to be making a, a habit of finding myself in your arms. Is he, is he gone? Quite gone. And Eldred? He stumbled against the rack, but uh, he hadn't locked the counterbalance. The rack slid back to its rest position, pressing and pressing him to the wall. Oh. Enough. Here is the track taking me off. Undamaged. And here... Yes, is your will. <laughs> what a beautiful room. What a view. Dr. Rant's inheritance. Our inheritance. Will you show me the grounds? <laughs> With pleasure, David. It's funny, I still keep wanting to call you Mr. Garrett. What a coincidence, I keep wanting to call you Mrs. Garrett. <laughs> On my brows. It's a spider. Get it off. Get it off. It's oh. gone now, Lucy. Just a spider. Quite oh. gone. Let's enjoy the garden while the sun still shines. Yes. Tomorrow I shall clean every trace of that man out of this house. In the track tape Midoth, M. R. James was played by Derek Jacobi, Garrett by Joseph Milson, and Lucy Simpson by Joanna Tinsey. Mr. Eldred was played by John Rowe, and Mr. Thompson by Sam Dale. Original music was composed by Nikolai Abrahamson, and the director was Gemma Jenkins.